1946, my father, Russell Cox, started our business. It's a family-owned business. We started crushing rocks to begin with. Now we're in road building, asphalt production, paving, and grading. Being in the quarry business, one maybe not think that an electric excavator would be the tool you might find in our background. Being profitable in the crushing business, you always got to have rock coming off the belt. Black belt conditions are a no-no. We've been able to implement a small two and a half ton electric excavator to break up oversize off on top of our crusher. This excavator has replaced a diesel unit and we've had such great success with it, we've bought a second one. And the transition from the diesel machine that we had before to the electric has basically been seamless. It's simple as can be. There's less warm up time, you just hit the key and away you go and it'll do every job you could ever need. No oil changes, no air filter changes, no fuel filter changes. Electric seems to be doing an excellent job for us. He's saving money because he's not doing regular maintenance the way you would on a diesel piece of machinery. Charging this machine is a minimal draw off of the generator that is powering the entire crushing plant. Change is hard, but when you show that there are certain applications that this would be extremely useful, then people start to come around to the idea and then they at least take the chance of looking at it. A lot of government contracts currently are requiring that contractors show a path towards sustainability. And these electric machines and the various sizes that Volvo offers are helping us move along that path towards sustainability. The electric is not for all contractors, but if it's something that's close together and they can compound them, it makes a very good way of power.